how we doing everybody now I want to take a minute and talk to y'all about the second thing I do for a living second part of my life and that's harvesting medicinal roots and resell them to the public and I've not seen a whole lot but I did see right here some trillium right here now this would be a bulby reddish looking root now this is good for burns things like that very good plant to have around the house and right here is blood root you can see it growing right here here's one flowering right there here's another piece of beth root that's about to flower right there I figured we'd walk this road up see what we can see we'll start with this beth root though because that was the first thing I've noticed and I'll see if I can get in here and show you guys a little bit about this now I sell these medicinal roots to the public now I'm not a doctor I have to disclose that you can't wrap me up and be like hey man I got this going on what do you recommend yada yada you know I'm not a doctor but what I will tell you is that if you do your own research and stuff you will find many uses for these plants well the root broke but that's good here's the part you have to split it to dry it anyway see that white thing in there that's the rest of the root we'll actually just cover it back up and it'll come back next year but this has got like a lotion in it and you would just literally rub it on your skin uh, I don't know how to set the phone down to show you but you would rub this on your skin if you got a burn and it will help soothe that but very good plant to have around the house now I also make say you want you're saying to yourself well I can buy the roots but then I don't know what to do with them well I can make you salve and tonics and stuff like that with instructions on what to do with them you know how I would take them you know um, there's a lot of things that is in these woods like myodol comes from black cohosh I make that for my daughter. I make her a quart jar, and that quart jar lasts her two or three months. I mean, and she has no uh, menstrual cramps or bloating or none of that. It's not so good for hot flashes and things like that. This depends on your age. Your body will process it different. This blood root. It's used to treat warts, as far as I know, and several other things. But the Indians used to use it a lot for dye. It's a reddish looking root. Let's see if I can get it out of here. Here we go. It's a reddish looking root. As you can see from where I broke it there. And this stuff will actually dye your skin red. They used to use it for like war paint. Of course, dyeing fabric. Things like that. See how red it is inside? Let's see. Okay. Let's see. Can you 
you all see that little orangish reddish tint on my arm well that's how you use that you know you just put it on your wart it'll help get rid of it but you can see it there okay let's see what else we might can find i have to use my digger to walk which is kind of a shame but i dug roots out of these mountains and my wife gloria will tell you i raised four kids they're all grown now uh right out of these mountains and right now Cohosh is like two dollars a pound. When I dug it, it would be worth seventy cents right now. I mean, it's crazy how much inflation has caused everything to go up, including what us diggers get for our roots. A lot of this stuff is exported to China. Some stuff's used here in the States. Most of this stuff goes to Germany, China, places like that. And it gets turned into medicine and then shipped back. But you can actually make your own medicine. If you Google around, know how to do it. And like I said, if you're interested in a product but you're scared to make the medicine, oh, I can make it, you know. I mean, this is all natural medicine. It comes right out of the Appalachia Mountains. I mean, God's country. This is God's medicine. This is the stuff I use. If I get a cold, I go dig me up some spigment. Uh, and I get it boiling hot. Stick me a towel over my head and start breathing. Oh, a good example of that. You guys, it's my age. You all, I know you've seen the movie Crocodile Dundee. Do you remember when the girl took him to the city, okay? And the guy was doing cocaine, okay? And he walks up to him and he says, Hey, mate, you're doing that all wrong. And he takes and he dumps his cocaine over in boiling hot water and sticks a towel over his head and tells him to breathe it in. Well, Crocodile Dundee thought that he was using spigment, and he wasn't. I think this might be some leaks, some wild ramps right here. If it is, I'm going to get me some of these. I eat these every spring. These clean the toxins out of your system. I also sell these. They're an onion. A wild onion is what they are. Be a little white bulb at the end. And boy, can you smell the onions. Oh yeah. See. I'll come back and get some more of these before I get done with the video. It's hard to dig and hold a phone and all that. I'm actually gonna leave my coffee cup right there with it. We'll walk up, come back down. See if we see anything on this road growing. 
Last year I dug two monster four prongs, literally right on this road right here. I mean, they was well over knee high, very nice four prongs I got. Right, literally right in the middle of this road. But now, this is no FDA claimer or nothing, but I will tell you this. Uh, a friend of mine sent me some spigment when I was sick with COVID-19. Or I'm sorry, my family member. I got it after that. And uh, a friend of mine sent me some spigment in. And it kept my family out of the hospital and myself, I believe. I truly believe that. Because that stuff smells like pure Vicks vapor rub. That's what it smells like. I mean, it is, it opens you up. You can't breathe. You'll be breathing in a minute. That I promise. It opens you up and opens you up good. It's a beautiful day to be out walking in the mountains right now. It really is. Beautiful day. I'm trying to see if we had any cohosh or seven marks stuck off the side of the road, but I don't see none. We laid in here a few years back, dug a lot of blood root and cohosh out of here. That's when I lived up here in Llewellyn. and See, I used to actually move into an area. And I would dig, and I would stay in that area. And, of course, everybody would say, this place is dug out. That was the places I liked to go. And I would stay in that place until I couldn't hardly make any more money around it because I didn't drive or anything at the time. And then me and my wife would just relocate and move to another area, and I'd start all over and start digging. But I started keeping a record and I compared one year to the next year, and I watched my production drop. So I thought, I'll do it one more time. And, of course, it dropped as well. And at that time, I had license, could get to different places in the county. It was just the fact that everybody done this, and my body was getting old. And I didn't have a four-wheeler at the time, but I did have a car. So if I dug something, I had to pack it. A lot of times, we would pack it out to like a point. Like that point over there. And just roll it straight down that point. That way, we know we wouldn't run into any water. And it was a good steep. Points are usually good and steep. And you can just keep right on trucking down the bag can see there's a good little patch of ramps right there they're just scattered out where people's dug them in the past up in here there's some more blood root right there you can tell that blood root by that lily pad looking thing plus the white flower it's fixing to pop see here's one with the white flower see Well, guys, my wife's about to get off work. I got this big, giant bag of dirt down there on my mule. See that white thing down there? That's a 200-pound sack of, uh, what was it, a 200-pound feed sack or 150-pound feed sack. One, I think it's two. Plum full of dirt. I'm trying to raise my flower beds at home. The plastic is showing. The dirt's washed away. <clears throat> My wife's supposed to get me like a body thing. 
where I can pack my camera. The only bad part is I think it's going to record a lot in portrait mode, so that's going to suck. But I'll have to deal with it. Next year, I think I'm going to invest in a GoPro because I should have some enough subscribers by then. If I don't, then I guess you can say I failed and I won't be investing in no GoPro. But I don't know. I mean, I enjoy doing this so who knows i might anyway well guys i wish y'all the best i hope you stay safe if you want to learn anything about my products just send me a message um that's about all i can say on that i mean my company name is black mountain roots um I don't know what to tell you. Just, I mean, do your research on that. I'm not a doctor. That's the thing. I can't tell you, hey, something's going to cure you. But I can help you and guide you any way possible if you don't know anything about this stuff. So, anyway, God bless you. I hope you take care. If you like my content, please subscribe. Give a thumbs up. Hit the little bell. If you don't like my content... Give me two thumbs down. Make sure you comment why or why not you didn't like it. Or if you have a show idea. I got a surprise coming up. I just got to wait till the river goes down. Because I've not been in this area in a long time. But I think a lot of people will really want to see what I'm going to show you. Um, hopefully uh, I can do it next weekend. And no, I'm not going to tell you much about it but i think everyone will enjoy it so with that said to my family my beautiful wife i love you uh to my kids if you're watching from the future my grandkids pap loves you uh i hope you're in a better place in a better world than what we're in now so everybody take care remember like subscribe comment share do all that stuff hit the bell and if you don't like it like i said give me two thumbs down tell me why not take care everybody god bless